y'all ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here today with Mr. Daryl Price. Right. Daryl Price was recently featured in the Ben Bulletin newspaper for some strange reason. I'm not sure why, but right there that says 90 plus ski club. So Daryl, how old are you now? I'm 91 years old now. You're 91 years old. Yeah. Now, Daryl, how long have you been skiing? Oh, I suppose maybe 40 years, somewhere around there. So you started when you were what, 50-something? 50 53. You started skiing when you're 53. Yeah. Uh, boy, I'll tell you what, man. Let me, uh, a lot of people probably kind of want to know, like, is there anything in particular that you attribute to your longevity in such an athletic uh, sport such as skiing? Well, I've skied and uh, I've played football, baseball, basketball, and uh, I've, I've com competed in all the sports, you know, and, uh, and, and I do exercise too. Okay, so so you, you you're still exercising on a regular basis. Yeah, I went out this morning and done about 200 push-ups. 200 push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I never done them all at once. I do I do 120, and then I go do 40, and then I'll go do. Yeah, 40 you more. do you're doing them in repetition, but still. Yeah. So so you've really maintained your strength. What about your legs? What are you doing to keep your legs so strong at your age? Uh, I, I don't know. They feel real good now. But you just, you've just you just never really stopped being active then. Oh, no, no. I'm okay. Someone was telling me the other day, they said they heard that you, were, that you did like 100 squats every morning or something like this. Well, I, I, I do about... Uh, well, this morning I done about 50 setups. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, okay, let's go back earlier in your life. You know, you've been around for a lot longer than a lot of us have been, and you've probably seen a lot of uh, changes in the country and this and that, and different things happen. Is there any, like, uh, points that you would want to tell or, or talk about or, like, you know, any great things that you've done in your life when you were a younger man that maybe made you, molded you into who you are? I, uh, I don't know if I can think of anything like that now. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you, you are from, uh, I believe, what's considered the greatest generation. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah what, were, what, were you in the service? Yeah, I was in the service for two years. And during which uh, situation, like World War II or Korea? Or? World War II, and we went into we when we went up into Japan into Okinawa, and uh, we 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 took a lot of troops into Okinawa. So you were in the Navy. Navy, or, yeah. You were in the Navy, so you were hauling the troops over there to make the landings. Yes. yes. Wow, that right. must. That must have been scary. Well, it really was. Yeah. And you know, and if it wasn't scary, there might have been something wrong with you. But <laughs> but you made it through all that. Yes, I have. Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah. And so what is it, uh, is there something, I mean, what have you done? I mean, I don't like to get too nosy, but what have you done, you know, to make a living? I was... Um... Well, I started out in, uh, in setting chokers in the woods, and uh, I got real good at that. I used, they used to give me the straw line to lay out the property that we was going to log, and I, the, I got real good at that. Well, you know that uh, especially uh, uh, someone that chokes logs has one of the least life expectancies of oh. any kind of job in the world. The death rate of that is really, really high. Well, so, I, I didn't stay out of too too long. I was offered a carpenter job, and I went to work for for Ernie Pearson, and I worked for him for a few years, and then I went out on my own. Okay, so you've been a construction man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. So you've built a lot of houses. Yeah, I built a lot of houses in Eureka. Okay, down in Eureka, that's where you're from, right? Yeah. 
the, but now you're in Bend. Yeah, I'm yeah. in Bend. And but you still got family and friends in Eureka, California. Oh, yeah. Well, all right, Daryl. Well, look, I really appreciate, uh, for, we all appreciate your service and the greatest generation of World War II. It's been interesting to hear a few little tidbits from you. Now we're getting to the top of the chair. So what we're going to do is we're going to film this guy uh, going down to the chair once. 91 years old, Daryl Price, right here at Mount Bachelor. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Hi. Well, Daryl, thanks for uh, giving up all that information. You're welcome. And you know, you're lucky you didn't die when you were logger. I'll tell you one thing about Oregon, they need to get back on the on the on the forest management up here. And I see them doing some work around our neighborhood now in the outlying areas and taking care of some of these forests. And it's a beautiful thing to see them managed. Because if you don't manage them, they just burn down anyway. Yeah, that's right. And 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 and, and these doggone trees are a resource. I truly believe that. So yeah. and I'm as green as anybody. But coming from a farming family, I know that trees are just like things that you can farm. Yeah. All right, Daryl, hit it. You want to what you just You go, you go whatever way you want to go, Daryl. Okay. Don't worry about me, I'll just work my way around. Daryl Price, 91 today. Well, he's been 91 for a while now. And as you heard him say, he's He's just been an athletic guy, you know, all his all his life, you know, and and he never he never stopped, folks. And that's you know, he's taking good care of his body, and you know who knows how much how much longer he'll be going. <laughs> it could be it could be a heck of a lot longer, you know. And <laughs> look at him go, man. Yeah, we got a little overcast today. It, uh, it could be a little sunnier day. It's not as sunny as it could be, but boy, look at Daryl go. He's working it, man. This is the D this run is called BSQ, this trail. It's about probably 40 mile an hour in that range. It, well, it'd be a good guess from me anyway. So he is not, uh, he's not afraid. <laughs> oh man, now he's really starting to pick up the speed on this deeper pit. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I'll, holy moly. Yeah, he's working it hard. But this is how he skis all the time. And every day. Well, every day he comes up there anyway, which is quite a quite a bit because obviously as you probably figured he is retired oh now he's getting into the top oh yeah see last time I filmed him once last year and he came down here and he sat down on the back of the ski into a little lazy boy deal and just amazing this guy let's all give it up give it up please 91 year old Daryl Price, a Mount Bachelor icon in every way, shape, and form, and he's 90 plus. <laughs> Man, that was freaking awesome. Oh my god, hold up here a minute, Daryl. That was is, that was fantastic, Daryl. My God, I just cannot believe how fast you ski still at your age. Hey, yeah. give us a high five for the camera. Thank you, Daryl. You're welcome. Daryl Price, Mount Bachelor. It is March, what, the 27th, I do believe, today. Yeah. 91, catching you all a while ago.